Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a guide for leveling to 56 on Black Desert Online. I'll be using only grinding with some of my favourite grinding spots. This guide will be perfect if you're new to the game or leveling alts and people who just want to level fast. Really hope you guys enjoy this video. With that being said, let's get to it. Okay, to begin with, we start our tutorial in Olvia. From Olvia, we make our way east, killing along the way to try and reach level 15 by the end of the tutorial and our first boss kill. We will end up in the town of Valia. If we are not level 15 yet, head up to the northeast and you can kill goblins until level 15. Making our way south, we will get to Heidel Quarry and we can continue grinding here until level 18. At level 18, we'll make our way through Heidel, south to the Moretti Plantation. At the Moretti Plantation, we'll be killing Scarecrows until level 20. At level 20, we'll make our way down through the Eastern Gateway, where you can pick up some quests, if you'd like to, and make your way over to Castle Ruins. Now, there are some mobs along this road that you can kill there, and usually you won't need to make your way all the way in. If you are taking a while to level and don't have experience buffs, there is a nice rotation you can go into the castle ruins and make your way in a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise and you can just kill in there for the next couple of levels. Making your way up to about level 22 or 23 and heading over to Swamp Fogan. At Swamp Fogan we just want to get one or two levels before, before being high enough level to head over to the Bloody Monastery. So after we're making our way southwest to the Bloody Monastery, we want to stay here and grind here until level 27. There is a really good place to grind if you head up the path all the way to the actual monastery itself, and there is a really good area, full and condensed with mobs. After reaching level 27, we want to make our way northwest to the Orc Camp. The Orc Camp is level 27 to 31, and is a really good place to level. This place here uh, can be quite easily, uh, you can stay here for a couple of extra levels if you're struggling with gear or if you're not leveling effectively. After the Orc Camp, you want to make your way either, depending on gear, you can make your way straight over the Karutos, which is what I do in the video. If you are not yet geared enough, make your way to the Baragi Den, where you can grind there until level 33. At level 33, then make your way over to the Karudos. All these areas are very dependent on gear. You can obviously skip levels or go to a new area at a lower level, dependent on how your gear is going. Also, if you started this guide with a brand new character and no gear for an alt, then I would suggest as you grind, use the money you're making from grinding and selling the items to buy new gears directly off the marketplace. Otherwise, you quest for gear. So after the Karudos, make your way west to one of my favourite areas to grind, which is the refugee camp. This place here, I would like to stay at least until level 39. It does recommend level 37 in-game, but I would recommend level 39. Don't go to the trolls. These mobs are spread out and they're quite hard to grind on and they're just not very effective. Other than that, you could head up to the Bree Tree Ruins, but again, the mobs there are very spread out. I don't like to grind there. I'd prefer to stay at the refugee camp until a higher level and make your way to the southeast where we will head to Marnie's Lab. At Marnie's Lab, there are the Chimera. The Chimera there are very dense mobs. They move quickly and they make it very easy to farm the levels here. So at level 39 to about level 44, we want to be grinding here. From there we can make our way down and just get a couple of levels down at the Sornals camp. It's not the best place to grind, but it's very efficient and very effective still. Get to level 46 at Sornal camp and make your way to the Giant's Post. At Giant's Post, there's just two more levels to level 48, and then we can make our way over to the western side of Calpheon. And I like to grind on Manches, but it's completely your preference. There are lots of quests here. Make it very easy to get a few extra CP as well while you're here. But it's very easy to either pick the Manches or the Rutum Out Station. Either one, it doesn't really matter. There's still great experience on both. From here, you will then hit level 49.999. At level 49, you will need to do a quest 
which is a boss scroll you receive from the black spirit when reaching that level. So it'll make you come up to the catfish the catfish camp and you will need to do a boss scroll there before hitting level 50. At level 50 you can just stay at the catfish camp and grind there until level 51 or 52 depending on gear. Some people even like to stay here longer but it all depends on how you're tracking and how effic efficiently you're killing these mobs. So if you head over after reaching either level head all the way over east and you're going to start the media quest line or you're going to start grinding in media when you get here this is again all dependent on gear you can come down to the abandoned iron mine but again the mobs aren't very good I don't like grinding here personally it's the same as I don't really like grinding at the wandering rogue den you might have a personal preference and prefer to grind in those areas but the first place I go to is mains hideout this area is easy to grind the mobs are easy to kill there are a lot of mobs there and there are some great rotations you could look up as well I might even make a video on some rotations regarding these areas because the rotation makes all the difference with effective grinding and getting the best experience per hour. After reaching around level 54 I would recommend going straight to Helms and grinding there until level 56. Again these two areas specifically can become very contested and very hard to level at. If that's the case either find a group, find a friend or get into a guild and they might be able to take you up to Sawson's Garrison which is a good place to power level to 56 or Elric Shrine or one of the other locations. But if you're on your own solo you usually can just swap between Helm's Post and Main's Hideout to get to level 56. At level 56 you'll start your awakening quest and these will take you to do some grinding for the quest line. So these grinding locations, as far as I'm aware, are only at the mains hideout, the soldier's grave, and the Hasra ancient ruins. So after killing a few mobs in either of these areas, or all three of these areas, you will be able to complete your awakening quest and get your awakening weapon, and from there everything changes, you become a lot stronger, your class becomes stronger, and you can really start focusing on end game gear. So that gets us to level 56, and that concludes this part of the guide. Continue to watch, so you can watch me level my Dark Knight from 1 to 56 all the way through, showing you each and every one of these locations I've mentioned. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you do, leave a like, subscribe. See you later.
Okay, everyone, that is 1 to 56 on my Dark Knight. I really enjoyed leveling this character. That was six and a half hours in the video. I do believe that without the AFK time and just grinding at a bit bit of a better pace and more effectively, it would have been about four and a half hours play time, but still a quick way to level to 56. Some of the issues I had were not enough skill points at level 56, so by the time I got there, I well, I'm going to have to grind just skill points uh, for this character, I'm a bit behind on some of the skills and you can really start seeing me slow down leveling from about 49 onwards But other than that it was good It uh, worked effectively and got to 56 a lot quicker than I was expecting But for new players, I would not recommend this I'd recommend going along and questing if it's your very first character, but you can still do it this way um, definitely watch my other video on beginners tips and tricks and that'll help you along the way just making sure that you don't make it or don't have any issues but thank you very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time